In this video, we will start to look at the uh, uh, extended application of ARIMA model. So I hope you guys remember that uh, uh, as we mentioned about the time series data that can be analyzed using the ARIMA model that has to be make sure the data itself are stationary. That means there is no trend, no seasonality. However, in the reality, many of the data has seasonality. So during this whole semester, we look at the, the data for the jewelry sales. We see there is a quarterly pattern. And also we saw how many uh, the homes sold. We also see the quarterly pattern. So if we are dealing with the uh, time series data that has a seasonality, are we just give up ARIMA model? So the answer is no. So what happens is if you try to do the uh, by hand, step by step without forecast X, what happens is you first will be de-seasonalize your data. And then, uh, then after you add, uh, estimate the data, use the ARMA and to do the forecasting, and then, then you will seasonalize your data. So fortunately, we have the forecast X, so it will do all the work for us. As we already see the power of the I term, integrated term, so the forecast S are already able to, able to help us to detect if the I term should be non-zero, right? And uh, the similarly, forecast X also can detect the seasonality and help us to estimating the seasonality as well. Okay, so here I'm introducing is an expression you will be able to see on the forecast X. So we just need to make sure we know how to read in the results. So we already get familiar with the uh, ARIMA PDQ, right? The P is the AR term and D is the integrated term and the Q is the MA term. So uh, how about uh, the second parenthesis you will see on the forecast X? So here we are using capitalized PDQ to representing the three entrants in the second parenthesis. So actually the, the P is representing the number of the seasonality in the AR term and D is representing the number of the seasonality in the, uh, in the difference term. And uh, capital Q is the number of the seasonal MA terms. So uh, like I said, uh, without forecast X, we actually have to de-seasonalize the data first to estimating the value for PD and Q before we can use it to do the ARIMA model. But uh, since we have our forecast X, so they will do everything in one steps because as you click the button on your forecast X, there are so many algorithm go, uh, so many iteration going on to help us identify the best value for P, D, and Q, and also identify the best value for the capital P, D, and Q. Okay, so after you know what's the meaning of these uh, uh, six symbols, so we can look at uh, uh, a real uh, example here. So as you can see for this data set, uh, we actually seen that before is the uh, the household, uh, monthly household. So before we already know this model is best use winter's model to do the forecasting. Uh, but here we actually gonna try to use uh, ARIM a model. But as you can see for this model, uh, when you look at the ACF diagram, so first of all, it's dying down very slowly. So we have the trend. And the second is we can see up and down this kind of uh, cyclical patterns. So that means our data actually had the seasonalities. Okay. So what we're going to do is we can just fit in this data to our forecast X. As we ask forecast X to develop in the result, as you can see on the bottom here, where we identify the best model. Okay. So for this model, you will notice that the AR term is zero, but uh, our uh, the I term equal to one. As I mentioned in the prior uh, diagram, we do see the AC, uh, AP, APC, uh, APC, uh, AFC diagram dying down relatively slow. So therefore we do have a, a trend. So not surprising the computer capturing that by introducing the D term equal to one, right? And then uh, the MA term is zero, okay? So on the second parenthesis here is the seasonality captured, okay? So basically the seasonality is showing in our AR term and MA term, all with, uh, uh, with um, uh, uh, the level of the two, okay? So we see the number of the seasonality in the AR term is two, the seasonality in the MA term is two as well. So for this data set, we, not, we have trend and also we have the seasonality. Okay, great. So after the forecast X pick up this result, 
Uh, there's a black box as the best model to forecast in this time series. If you want to do a hypothesis testing, we were using the link jump box. So the Q statistic is here, 45.43. So in order to do this test, you need to do the hypothesis, uh, figure out the critical value using the chi, the IMV, the right tail. And we can do uh, a significant level at a 0 0.01, right? And then the degree of freedom, keep in mind, is equal to M minus P minus Q. So since, as we're talking about by default, the forecast X when they're creating these statistics, okay? So if there is no seasonality, this statistic value will be equal to what? Or equal to 12. So that's the M value equal to 12. However, we do see the seasonality. And then in this case, uh, it will be equal to four times uh, four times the seasonality. So four times 12 equal to 48. Okay. So in this case, M equal to 48. So M minus P minus Q. Okay. So 48 P equal to zero, right? Q equal to zero. So minus zero, minus zero. So then in order to find the critical value here, you just need to use point, uh, point 0.10, sorry, we do point, uh, we use the same one as before, uh, point, point zero 0.01, I guess, right? I think the pre prior one, oh yeah, point zero 0.01. Let's use the same one, level of significance is point zero 0.01, and then 48. Okay, so now we are able to receive our critical value, and then we are able to compare the critical value with our uh, Ling John statistics. And so let me show you quickly what we get here. Let me open the Excel. Okay, let's see. Equal to chi da sq da I and V dot RT parentheses point one forty eight. So the critical value is sixty, right? Sixty. And then if you look compare this value with what we have here, forty-five point four three. So the, the critical value is larger uh, the link the Q statistic is smaller than our critical value. That means we cannot reject our HO. Uh, which is the result from this black box is a white noise. So that means this model, ARIMA010202, this is the best model that we can use to forecasting this time series. Okay, so uh, that's the end of this chapter. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, very versatile model.